In my last video, I previewed my Model Train Diorama How-To Series. In this episode, I'll show you the steps I used to scratch build a wood trestle bridge for the N-Scale Diorama. To make the planning easier, I use as inspiration a Monroe model that I had purchased at a train show, and I also downloaded plans from Luke Towen's website and transferred them to paper using my iPad. Although not necessary, it's very convenient to have a tool like a Micromark chopper to ensure that all of your pieces are the same length, plus it saves a lot of time. The piers are made out of six individual pieces of wood that I needed to ensure were all made exactly the same. So I referenced the template frequently as I was measuring out and changing the jig in order to make the cuts. After cutting all the pieces, it's good to rub them against some heavy grit sandpaper to knock any edges off of them and to also give them some texture to make them look more realistic. I then soaked the pieces in some alcohol tinted with paint and Indian ink in order to stain the pieces prior to construction. Now it was time to assemble the piers. I started by taping the template to a piece of foam so I can use pins to create a jig to hold the pieces in place while I glued them. This worked, but not great. A better alternative was to use a piece of blue tack to hold the pieces in place. It was much easier to get the glue onto the pieces without the pins in the way. I used yellow carpenter's glue, but in the future, I think I'm going to try something different. The glue did not dry clear, and it didn't take the paint as well as I would like it to. In order to make the road bed, I used the micro mark chop it again to cut about a million pieces of wood. And then I proceeded to line them up and pull out the pieces that were crooked or somehow were damaged. I used strips of balsa wood to hold the individual planks together from the underside. It's important to cut slowly and if need be, make multiple passes in order to not split the balsa wood when cutting it. I have found that the easiest way to apply glue to the wood is to just use my fingers. It's a little bit messy, but is a great alternative to using a brush. After letting it dry, I found that I needed to scrape off some of the excess glue that had seeped through the crevices. Once the glue dried, there was a little trimming that needed to be done, and then I set the piers in the extruded foam. That way I could take a look at it in preparation for the next step. The bridge would be pretty dangerous without any guardrails, so I'm going to use some scale lumber and use as a template uh, the pieces from the kit that I had previously bought. I'm also going to place some cars on the temporary bridge in order to measure the height that they need to be. After doing some careful measuring and the fun of long division, I figured out how many pieces I needed to use and got to work on the chopping. I then lined up the pieces using a piece of blue tape in order to stick them and hold them in place while I glued. After the railings dried, I glued them on to the bridge decking. 
Now it's time to attach the piers to the decking. And in order to do this, I gotta know exactly where to place them. So I need to fit it into the foam and figure out where the river and road are gonna be underneath it. All that's left is to paint it. I previously mentioned that I had soaked the pieces in what I hoped would be a good stain for the wood. Turns out I didn't like that at all. So I mixed some two different brown paints together with some water and painted it. The paint did not cover very well or match the color I was hoping for. It was also a challenge on the places where there was glue. So I mixed some uh, black and white together to make gray and then added some brown to that. Kind of have a, a grayish brown paint. And then I dry brushed the entire bridge once again. Well, I like this color a lot better. Please join me again next time as I continue the series on building an end scale diorama. Next up is the use of extruded foam and sculpt a mold to build the basic topography of the diorama. <laughs>